Before we go any further, let me point out that growing up, I don't really remember watching the original Ren and Stimpy, but do not pull this cringe fest against the original. As far as I'm concerned, they are two separate entities. But speaking of this, what better way to start off this cartoon than with... <laughs> We're off to a great start. Stimpy bawling his eyes out. How can you say those horrible things to me? <laughs> and having bad grandma. I'm sorry, Stimpy. I don't know why I do these things to you. I don't know whether or not this is worth mentioning, but apparently the show was so bad that Stimpy's original voice actor refused to take part in it. I know I can't control my vile urges! That line will definitely make sense later. I'll seek help! Title. Don't do it for me! Don't do it for me! Do it... For yourself! So after we hear Stimpy cry for god knows how long, Ren decides to seek help. Breathtaking. And then we get this completely nonsensical yet depressing walk of shame. Like, this probably would have worked if we have already seen what Ren did. But for what Ren did, you wouldn't want to see it. Ren meets with his psychologist, Dr. Mr. Horse. I'm doing it. See me do it. I see you doing it. I've done it. And they're not even trying with the lip syncing. What a surprise. So Ren begins to tell Dr. Mr. Horse about his childhood. <laughs> Yes, unfortunately, Ren remembers being in his mother's womb, and then we see a doctor slap newborn Ren across the body, we see the doctor slice the umbilical cord and have blood squirting out, and we also see Bambi coming in to eat the placenta. Charming. But what you've just seen there ain't nothing compared to what you're about to see next. That is, if you're still here. Ren decides that he wants to inflict pain on others. The first thing we see him do is pull the legs off of a caterpillar while it screams in agony and while happy music plays in the background. Oh! Ah! Ouch! We don't stop there, as we then see Ren lick a tick with his tongue. That has a stinger at the end of it for some reason. After burning an ant with a torch, Ren comes across his first frog. And that's when things really go downhill. Ren shoved firecrackers at the frog's ass, pushed it against the wall with his bike until guts were flying out, and electrocuted it with wires and a car. Why? And then millions of people around the world are suffering nightmares from this. Finish the job, you pussy! Haven't I suffered enough? 
no. Yes, he's refusing to kill the frog he mutilated brutally because he wants to cause it further pain. Damn. Uh, how did you sleep that night? Oh, great. Great, thank you. That gun will come in mighty handy later on. That night, the frog is banging on Ren's window, still begging him to kill him, but Ren still refuses to kill him, and very slowly closes his blind. The next day, Ren comes back from school, only to be stopped by his father, who is a priest. Because... reasons. <laughs> Ren's father tells Ren that he needs to finish off the frog, so he gives him a gun that's in a book. What are you doing? Giving a gun to our little boy! <laughs> that guy got hit in the head with a coconut! Can you really blame me for using that reference? Use this chainsaw! Was the happy-go-lucky music in the background really that necessary? Yes. Of course you'd think that. So Ren takes the frog outside to finish the job. Not a baby anymore. Okay, how many times are they going to have this problem? So while Ren's parents are making out for reasons, Ren completely misses with the chainsaw, and instead of killing the frog, he goes to throw it away instead. You're not gonna kill me? Does it still hurt? Oh god, yes! My every nerve is on fire! Have a wonderful life! That chihuahua is evil. Absolutely evil. This, uh, Stimpy fellow. Do you love him? Well, it's not like that. Stimpy's my friend. Just a friend. Yeah, no. Ren and Stimpy are a gay couple in Adult Party Cartoon. You know the series finale? Stimpy's pregnant? Just watch that episode and you'll see what I mean. Actually, you wouldn't want to watch that episode. Today I did something so horrible. Even for me! Oh, and do you remember at the start where Ren apparently did something horrible to Stimpy? He just whispers it in Dr. Mr. Horse's ear and we never get to learn what it is. Apparently he feels guilty about it, but yet he never tells it to the audience, just him. And what's Dr. Mr. Horse's reaction to it, you ask? You're fucking crazy! That's what's wrong with you! Crazy? Not crazy, evil. What kind of a psychologist are you? Psychologist? Are you nuts? I'm a horse! Horses will find that line very offensive. After a fight scene involving the two, Ren takes a gun that Dr. Mr. Horse is going to use on him and uses it to beat him to death. Animal Control comes in to try to get Ren, but Ren goes crazy and bites off one of their hands. And then he gets dragged away by Animal Control. And then we see the frog come in. However, the gun Dr. Mr. Horse had turned out to be a fake gun, causing the frog to live on in even more pain. And then it finally ends. I don't even know what to think. According to Ren and Stimpy, the show itself is supposed to be a comedy, but this cartoon episode is more like a creepypasta than a comedy one. Apart from the shitty voice flops at some points, the content is just insanely dark, and isn't something fans of Ren and Stimpy want to see, nor people who aren't fans of Ren and Stimpy. This cartoon is all dark and very little comprehension. I'll admit that I laughed at the I'm a horse bit, but apart from that, I don't even know what to say except Foxy Bombsight. Now, before I go, quick announcement. From now on, I will be doing polls on what I should review next, and the options will be five hand-picked plans. And I shouldn't upload on Daily Motion anymore because the videos are setting themselves to private and I can't switch them to public. If anyone could help me with this problem, I would appreciate it. But until then, this is Vobster Reviewer, the foxiest reviewer you've ever met, signing out.